Hi, Miss Sam. Hi, Miss Cat. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I love our Wednesdays when we get together for our kids' club family devotion time. I know. It's so fun. It is. Can I show you what I printed off and colored from the website this week? So, you know, the whole church is talking about Moses and the burning bush. So I love this coloring sheet that was right there on the website. And I wow. uh, yeah, printed that out and colored it. I didn't get to that. I could still go back and do that, right? Yeah, it'll be there for a few more days until we switch to next week's story. So yeah, please yeah. go right in there. I think it's so cool that we get to be part of that conversation that what we do with the as the children of the church, we're doing the same story the adults are. It's just we get to do it kind of from our size. Yes, yes. So just our our size bite of that. But but it's the exact same story, same Bible. I love it. Yeah. Hey, do you think we could tell that story now, just in case someone didn't get to, to see it? Because someone we know was reading it on the webpage this week. I know it'd be fun to, to go watch that video, but here's another chance just in case. I've got some great pictures, so you read it and I'll show the pictures. Awesome. Okay. This is from the book of Exodus, which is where the Moses story starts. And Exodus means to go out, like exit. So mm. Exodus, the going out, and the people and, are going to go out from Egypt. And so that's the Old Testament, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, because this is way before Jesus. So it's the Old Testament. We're yeah. talking about Moses. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So this is the third chapter, so we know it's early on. Yes. It says, Moses had run away from Egypt out into the desert. Remember, he was raised in the Pharaoh's um, house. By Pharaoh's daughter. Mm -hmm. Well, he was living a very quiet life where he'd run away. He'd gotten married and got a job tending sheep that belonged to his father-in-law, Jethro, a priest of Midian. And one day, he took them out way past the wilderness where they could find something to eat. And so they settled down by Horeb, which is called the Mountain of God. And the sheep were happily munching away and Moses noticed there was a bush on fire. It seemed kind of strange to him, and he had this feeling that he should go see what was causing the fire, because, you know, fires in the wilderness are not great. So he looked at the bush, and there was flame, but no smoke. And it kept burning, but not burning up. What is with that, Moses said to himself. It was an angel, a messenger, trying to tell him something from God, and it sure grabbed his attention. Then Moses heard someone calling him by name, out there in the middle of the wilderness. It was God talking to him, Moses, Moses. All Moses could say is, um, I'm here. Then God said, don't get any closer than you already are, and you should really take your shoes off because the place where you're standing is holy ground. Remember, that's the place where they worship God on the top of Mount Horeb? Yeah, he didn't know it. Yeah. No, well, he was raised at the Pharaoh's house. I'll bet you're wondering who I am, Moses. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And when Moses heard this, well, he hid his face in his arms, and he wrapped his sleeve around his head, because he was afraid to look at God. And God said, I have seen how my people who are slaves in Egypt are hurting. They cry themselves to sleep at night because their masters are mean to them and beat them and give them no rest. And their cries make my heart hurt. I have a plan to get them out of Egypt and to show them their own place to live, a good place that's full of good things. And I know what awful things are going on in Egypt. You are part of my plan. You are going to go to Pharaoh and march the people of Egypt right out under Moses' nose. But Moses said to God, me? Are you kidding? You want to send me? Why would you think I could do this? Well, don't worry, Moses said, God, I will be with you the whole time. And when you and all the people get out of Egypt, you can bring them right here to this mountain and worship me. But Moses said to God, 
I'm not very popular with the uh, Hebrew people or Pharaoh right now. What if I go to the Hebrews and say to them, the God whom your fathers knew has sent me to you to help you out of Egypt. Let's go. What if they say, what God? What is his name? What am I going to say to them? Tell them this, Moses, God said, I am who I am. And that's all you have to say. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses and tell them, the Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Sarah, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. That is my name forever. Go tell them that. I love oh. the way it says, um, let's see, when you get when you get out of Egypt, come right here to this mountain and worship me. So it's kind of like going back and finding the rest to bring them to him. To that holy ground. I know. I know. Oh. That is I great. really like that. And there are so many, so many beautiful verses within that reading. Thanks for reading that for us. I um I saw on, on our website too. Can I show you one more thing, Miss Cat? Absolutely. Okay, so I took some paper. I Neat. had different color paper here. And I don't know if you can tell, but this, the green part is supposed to be, that's the bush that's not burning. And then here's the flames back here. I've got some red cool. and orange and yellow. And people could do this with markers too, if they didn't have. And then I chose, you could write whichever verse means the most to you, but I really like to remember, this is from Exodus 3, verse 5, the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And there's a lot of holy ground in this world. Oh, absolutely. You know, that was a really, really special moment and a special time and a special place. And there are different holy moments in my life, too. And Did I, you when. Go ahead, sorry. Whenever I experience one of those, I think I should take my shoes off. That was a beautiful conversation. God was in this with me. So neat. One of the, I'm sorry I interrupted you. One of the okay. things that's on the website is uh, another activity where you draw an outline of your feet. Um, and I was going to do that, but then I found these flip flops. Oh, yeah. And they're kind of like an outline of my feet. Absolutely. And so what you're supposed to do on it is you think about two things that happened in that story. One says, I heard the cries of my people. God mm -hmm. says that. And they were hurting. And I wonder, what, is, what are the problems today? What, I think God mm -hmm. still hears us. So people are scared. Mm -hmm. And some people are hungry. Yes. Some people are sick. Yes. And what else? Some people are even a little angry. Yeah, there are some angry people. Yeah. So those are some of the things that God hears. Now, what happened is God sent Moses and said, I'm going to be with you. Mm -hmm. God sent Moses to go lead them out of Egypt right under Pharaoh's nose. So I wonder what we can do for people who are scared. Mm -hmm. I think we can, we can tell them about God, how yes. God is always there. Yes, that they are not alone. What can we do for people who are hungry? Oh, well, we certainly can donate and we have a wonderful food pantry that see. is helping out so many neighbors. Yeah, see how I'm writing these things on my flip-flops. Oh, that's um, good. You, let's yeah. see, and people are and sick. Mm -hmm. We can make them cards. Yes, cards and pray for them. Really, for everybody, we could pray for them. I was thinking for the angry people. I think we can listen. That's what exactly I was going to say. We absolutely listen and learn. So one of the things that activity about uh, uh, sharing the story, it said to write the things that God hears from his people today. Okay. And then what things, what ways mm -hmm. are we sent? with God to help them. Yeah. And then I don't think it's said to do anything else with these, but I had a thought that I could tie them together. Okay. And then on the ribbon, 
because you know one is god hears his people god mm -hmm. hears god's people and the mm -hmm. other is god sends help then i thought maybe on a ribbon i could put take off your shoes oh you are standing oh, on holy ground, holy ground. And I do you about, take off your shoes when you come into your house does everybody I, do that at your house pretty much yeah and we have Us a special too. place for that and right now my house is the place where i worship god and where i am listening to the people's God's people cry out. Yes. And it's also the place where I'm thinking of ways that I am sent by God to help. So your house is holy ground. Right. So I think where we take off our shoes, I think I'm going to hang this up. Just I as like a that. Reminder. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Anywhere we're aware of God can be holy ground, especially when, when we listen to him and remember he listens to us. That's so important. And then also in the listening, we find out how he is sending us, sending us to go help Absolutely. make the world better. I love that, Miss Kat. I love our Wednesdays together. Me too. Can we close with prayer? Do you want to do our yep. prayer clap? Yes, I'll do the prayer clap. You do the prayer? Awesome. Okay, great. Prayer clap on three. One, two, three. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. That whenever we pray, that whenever we pray, you hear us, you hear us, you will always come to help us. You will always come to help us. Help us not to forget. Help us not to forget what you have done, what you have done and help us to tell and help us to tell the stories of your greatness the stories of your greatness. Amen. Amen. It was great to see you. Great to see you. Thank, friends, thanks for doing our your week. devotion time. Bye, friends. Bye. Visit, sec visit Second Church slash children for all kinds of great things to do. Okay? Okay, bye. bye.